So, Game of Thrones has a new spin-off series. <laughs> Good luck being as brutal as the original show. Okay. Welcome back, Game of Thrones. Hey guys, it's Dan, your host here at Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for today. We are here to debut our first ever review for the brand new Game of Thrones spinoff series. This one is my review for Game of Thrones House of the Dragon Season 1 Episode 1 Pilot Review. <laughs> This one's going to be doing another video today. This one's going to be doing another video for today. This one is going to be doing my first ever review for the House of the Dragon Game of Thrones spinoff series. This one is my review for Season 1, Episode 1. So, boy oh boy, this was a fantastic first episode. Now, before I get into anything like that, I want to make sure that I address a few things before getting into this video. If you're new to the channel, we do cover Game of Thrones on this channel. Uh, we have covered the original series most of the way through. So, of course, uh, we were going to come back and do reviews for the House of the Dragon spinoff as well, too. So, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe because we're going to be doing weekly reviews for this series on the channel uh, starting now. So, definitely get ready for that. We'll be doing reviews every Monday for this series, and uh, yeah, I cannot wait. So, um, all right, now, let's talk about this series, right? Because when this show was originally pitched, when this show was originally confirmed to be, you know, coming out, um, I remember, and I'm going to be fully honest with you guys right here, uh, I was scared for this show, and not because, obviously, I don't like Game of Thrones, it's because a lot of times, you know, uh, shows will come out, and they will, you know do an amazing, amazing, amazing series uh, such as Game of Thrones with its success. And, you know, you'll end up getting a spinoff series and it's not even half as good, you know. And unfortunately, that happens with a lot of TV nowadays. A lot of media does that. So I was very afraid that this series was going to come out and it was not going to be anything like Game of Thrones. It was not going to be anything similar to it. And it was just going to be, you know, almost like a gimmick, you know. And I am about to tell you one thing right now. This show knows what it's doing. It really does. Um, I have to say, now that I've seen a first episode, now that I've, that I've actually seen a full episode, not only was this a fantastic episode, but this pilot was damn good. Like, as a pilot, as a first episode, one hell of an introduction. It made me upset cry it made me jump out of my seat it made me yell at times it made, I mean, so many emotions it made me sad it made me disgusted i mean it's just this brought back what it felt like to watch game of thrones a good few years back honestly and game of thrones was a series that we watched on the channel and i remember as as the episodes went on i would be like guys what did i just watch and i can now say that even just one episode in to House of the Dragon, I already feel the weights I feel when I'm watching Game of Thrones as I am House of the Dragon. Now, this series, to give you guys a little bit of knowledge on what this is, this takes place 172 years before Daenerys is born. Daenerys Targaryen, one of the biggest characters in the original Game of Thrones series. Now, we have heard so many times throughout Game of Thrones that, you know, obviously uh, the Targaryens were in charge. The Targaryens were the ones uh, that, you know, were in charge of King's Landing and they ruled the Seven Kingdoms and stuff like that. And revenge, you know, revenge was always a big, big accomplishment for Daenerys in Game of Thrones is to get revenge on the Lannisters for obviously what happened. But we've never really seen what happened. We've never really seen what it was like uh, all those years before. We only heard stories. Now, this episode... D answers a whole lot of questions and i apologize guys i am trying to learn the names as quickly as i can of these characters but game of thrones has very unique names uh, so unfortunately it's going to take me a little bit of time so bear with me as much as you guys can but uh we do have i would say uh three main points of view this episode which are the king obviously the ruler of the seven kingdoms the the lead of you know everything right he's the the you know the man that sits on the iron throne and you've got his daughter, uh, Rhaenyra. Now, she is uh, his uh, daughter, and she is also the princess of, you know, the Iron Throne and, you know, everybody like that. So, we also have his brother, which is Damien, 
who Damien, unlike his brother, who is, you know, a, a very, you know, professional king, very, you know, nice and easy to talk to. Um, Damien, on the other hand, is a very just, you know, bloodthirsty, out there psychopath at times. I mean, honestly, uh, we get to see in this episode, as we kind of get introduced to this series, that, you know, he is a very out there kind of guy. He calls his men in the middle of the night to deal with, you know, people that have either broke laws or people that, you know, uh, just are not listening to the rules. And he ends up going there and taking limbs off and, you know, punishing these people for the crimes they may commit. And he goes back to the office the next day, all calm and collected. And, you know, he kind of looks at the king, he looks at his brother and his brother says, hey, if I see you do that again, like, that's not how we do things here. If I see you do that again, there will be consequences. Do we understand each other, right? So he has to kind of keep an eye on him all the time. Unfortunately, though, he is, in a, in a lot of people's eyes, the heir to the Iron Throne. So, you know, he is um, kind of, uh, you know, him him being in charge, him being a, uh, you know, a, a lead of a Seven Kingdoms would not work. I mean, it would not work at all. So we also get to see Rhaenyra in this episode. She is, um, you know, kind of living a normal life. You know, she's hanging out with one of her friends and stuff like that, who, um, you know, they're kind of all, you know, just joking. She's got quite an interesting personality, too. I, I quite like her a lot. Uh, but uh, anyway, they they end up, you know, in this episode having like this, you know, uh, big get together. We get to see uh, this, you know, big match between obviously uh, two knights and stuff like that, as we used to see in Game of Thrones all the time. And honestly, getting to see this, you know, was so cool because I remember how many times did we see these in Game of Thrones, right? Um, it's so damn cool. I freaking love it. So, uh, and I love it too, right? Because I'm I'm a sucker for this for cool camera shots. I love it when you get the point of view on the horse and you you know you actually follow it like through its perspective and then you get knocked off like almost like with them it's it's really really cool the way they do it so uh that was sick and another thing that i have to acknowledge about this show for god's sakes is the visuals have not changed at all i mean holy shit man like honestly this was so amazing like when you see the the king's landing you see all the the buildings and you see the the you know the town and stuff like that it's so wonderfully done and even to a point where when you see the iron throne in this episode you know the numerous times that you do uh the, even the iron throne is different like it's a lot bigger it's way bigger than it was in the main show and it's just so cool to see and another thing speaking of cool to see is the dragons oh my god man seeing the dragons again was so so cool and i love it it's really really awesome and you know they mentioned a few times too that uh Rhaenyra's, uh or Rhaenyra's, uh, smells like a dragon which i'm like huh i wonder what dragon smells like i don't know why this is a thought that crossed my mind i'm like yeah it smell like dragon what, what does dragon smell like right so anyway so we also get to see uh in this episode now this one this one's pretty tragic and this is a, a very groundbreaking moment for me in this series is that the king's wife uh, is pregnant with a boy, uh, according to what she said, and about halfway through this episode, she ends up giving birth, and unfortunately, they have to give her a C-section because the baby is not coming out, so they have to now choose to kill her in order to get the baby out. What a screwed up scene, man. Honestly, Game of Thrones and their spinoffs, and this is what told me that this show was fucking serious is they literally give us this shit in the first first episode and then unfortunately the baby as well dies so now the baby boy and the king's wife are now dead and now the question is who is going to be the heir to the iron throne now you know it's either going to be damien or it's going to be uh rhaenyra and I love it because the king, even through all this pain, even through all this, you know, this trauma he just went through, uh, he says that Rhaenyra is going to take the spot. Yes, a queen is going to rule the Iron Throne. you damn right she is. And I love it. I thought it was absolutely amazing. As you see her there, uh, you get this amazing montage as you see her take over. And that's how episode one comes to an end with Rhaenyra in charge and with Rhaenyra ruling. Wow. Um... And Damien's not too happy. Damien just rides off. He's like, screw this. So, um, oh my God, man. What a, what a phenomenal start. Honestly, 
This episode is so good. It was such a phenomenal start to a series. Uh, and in particular for a prequel series, oh my god, man. I wasn't getting my hopes up for this show at all because I was scared that it would let us down. But this first episode was fantastic. Absolutely amazing. So I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. I have no flaws. I have no, you know, no problems with this episode at all. It was the perfect start to a series. And honestly, it it got me right back. It brought me right back to how amazing Game of Thrones could be when I watch an episode like this. Absolutely incredible. So let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this episode? And let's start some theories. What do you think Damien's going to do now? How do you think this whole show is going to go? Will she remain on the throne forever? Eh, uh, that doesn't seem like it, but again, we'll have to see. So anyway, really, really cool. Really like this show so far. And I'm looking forward to episode two next week. We'll be here to cover it. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, though, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any future reviews for House of the Dragon. Make sure to also follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I will see you guys really soon for another video for the House of the Dragon. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out.